Hi everybody, it's Andrea aka Violet Kitty 411 and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to everybody who has been engaging with comments, likes, and subscribing. You know I do appreciate it so much as this project is a lot more fun with an engaged audience. So we are back in the building side of Old Town for another redesign and today we're actually going to be doing one for one of the Get A Life couples. Now originally when I created the builds for Get A Life and Old Town, I was working with university only so I am working to update them to make the characters more interesting and three-dimensional as well as giving them a more updated look with more fashion choices. So let's go ahead and get into it and check out today's clients which are the Cheekies. Now these side characters actually ship as four married couples on the downloads that I currently have but I did change them up like I said I'm trying to make them a bit more three-dimensional and so the Fufaras, the Thimblewits, and the Cheekies are now non-married but in love relationships. The only ones that are married are the Peacocks because their bio indicates that they are married. I have personally always played these couples living in one condominium building. Obviously I currently have them in four condominium buildings but we're going to be changing that today. So today we're going to be working with the Cheekies. Most folks around town think that Chantal is too good for Charles. They would be right, but somehow this mismatched couple makes it work for themselves. So here we have Charles. He is a Libra. He is an arts and crafts sim with his cowboy hat and red smoking jacket. Charles Cheeky is anything but traditional. Known for being too friendly, Charles likes to live fast and hard, and you can always count on him to make a party more interesting. Just don't get on his bad side. Now Charles is pretty much identical to how I've already made him, but Chantal is the one that I really updated. I gave her an outfit that much more reflects what she wears in the console as well as a hairstyle that does. This is actually of course a formal outfit, but I recoded it for everyday use as well as elder wear, so I like that about her. Chantal is known in the neighborhood as Charles's better half. Unlike her boorish and immature mate, Chantal, is cultured, articulate, and educated sim who dabbles in Egyptology and designs her own jewelry. How and why she and Charles got together is anyone's guess. So currently, she and Charles are actually only in a love relationship. They are neither engaged nor married, so if you feel the need, you can break them up with little drama. And they are ready to go. Now she is a family sim and she's also a tinkerer, but I would also make her a knowledge sub-aspiration because of her bio. And currently she has education minister, which I think works well for her bio. So that's what I would personally do for her. Charles's lifetime one is to become a professional party guest and that works well. So let's go ahead and see where we're going to put this lovely couple. Now since Chantal was a lover of antiquities, the house that I felt was best for them was the one from neighborhood to lot one, the castle that ships with live and large. Now since this is the house that I chose for them, we're going to choose a multiplier, not of their funds, but of the house value to determine how well I'm going to furnish it. So we're going to be going from one and a half to four, and we are getting one and a half. We've got a pretty bare bones budget to work with, not a problem. At one and a half times the makes my budget basically 127,000 simoleons. So we will go ahead and make sure they have that. So this house is actually number one sim lane in neighborhood two, and it is a castle, but it's next door to the Joneses, which is number one sim lane in the downloadables. So talk about a mismatch of neighbors, but it is what it is. I did actually build it very recently, so I'm happy with the exterior with the exception of the back. And I might do something with the roof line, but not sure yet. But currently not, it's not hatred, not hatred. 
However, the interior first floor is just one great big room. And the second floor is this ridiculous bathroom over here. This I think is supposed to be the bedroom and this area here and I don't currently have a staircase in it because I wasn't sure which staircase I wanted to use. Plus, we might want to make use of the basement. So because of the terrain, this lot really won't fit anywhere else other than where I currently have it. But of course, it still will be available for download in the before and after regardless. So if you want to put it in your neighborhood, that's great. The first thing I want to do is actually work with the basement because of course it is different. Now, the way we're going to work with this basement, of course, let's go into the build tools, into the terrain tools, and we're gonna make sure that this is as high as it can go this one right here and now I'm going to level the entire basement to that terrain that level or at least we'll level we'll level that much to it that way I can do my digging properly grab the stairs five from the corner push it down that's the three that I need hammer that away, and now level everything to the level that I just created. And we'll call it good. So of course we're gonna go ahead and deconstruct the build as I like to. And we may or may not move some of these windows around depending on what I choose for the final floor plan. But the ones in front, I feel, will probably stay just as they are. So there's not a lot to do as far as deconstruction because there were literally a grand total of three walls. And I hadn't even put the wall texture on the bottom level. So yeah, that's it. So because of the grandness of the building, I want to use a grand staircase. So first we have to create the surround for it and then I'm going to do something a little different as I am going to put a spiral staircase offset by halfway below it and I've done stranger things so it should work but I haven't tried it yet and on either side we will have the tiny little micro baths and then a pass through at the back and there will be an exit to the yard from that pass through now here we have the kitchen, the formal dining room, maybe a little library and the anteroom. And on the opposite side, we're going to have similar, but not quite the same, a small room and then kind of a general sitting room. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that and not sure what I'm gonna do with this. And for the upstairs, we are going to turn what was one bedroom into four with four bathrooms. So we've got two bedrooms over here, and then I will create two smaller bedrooms like that. Of course, they each need a bathroom, so we're going to section off two bathrooms there and two bathrooms there. But in a house this big, they also need closets, so we'll have small closets for the smaller bedrooms and walk-in closets for the larger bedrooms. So that's the upstairs. So now we'll go ahead and put our sweeping staircase in on the main level and in the basement we will go ahead and put that spiral staircase. Like I said, it clips through, but you know I've done things more dramatic and strange before, so I think this will work. We'll have to, of course, experiment with it. Of course, I will have to change window placement for the purpose of both usage as well as symmetry, and it's time to go ahead and decorate, so I will be back. So because my budget was 127367 and this came in at less than a thousand away from that, this is far from fully furnished but at least all the finishes are on, all the doors are placed, and 
all the rooms are defined. So there's that. Now it is nicely landscaped, so I made no major changes to the exterior other than changing the location of some of the windows, adding a large back deck, changing the back doors, and actually recoloring these two windows, which you'll see a little bit later. Now, I imagine Chantal as something of a Lara Croft wannabe, so she has plenty of space in this mansion to fill with her treasures. We enter and are presented with the grand sweeping staircase with a nice coordinating paper, and then we go through our house. Now, currently, this is the living room, but ultimately this would be an anteroom where somebody would engage in conversation before retiring to the dining room because eventually, ideally, this will be fully furnished. Now through this door is a sparsely appointed library, but at least it's got books and a chess set. Adjacent to the library is the dining room, appointed nicely in red because you know I do love a red dining room. And I chose some pretty low-end stuff just to get it as furnished as I was able to. And then through here we have a nice rustic kitchen in keeping with it. And there's those brown windows that I pointed out a little bit earlier. Nothing is particularly high-end, although we do have some nice countertops here. Off of the kitchen, we do have a very small three by one powder room, and there's a second one on the opposite side of the staircase. Then going out of the dining room, we have a hallway where we can go outside, or this leads downstairs. Now I will have to experiment, but this should actually work because I have stacked staircases on top of each other before and they were perfectly able to use them. It's just that it looks weird. So this is the back of the grand staircase. And of course we will experiment to make sure it does indeed work, but I have made it work with regular staircases before. So after checking out the spiral staircase leading downstairs, I imagine Chantal to be something of a Lara Croft wannabe. So we would fill this room with some of her archeological treasures that she has found. And she's also a tinkerer, which is a really good, good hobby for somebody who might get into difficult situations. This room, which is to the left of the grand staircase as you enter, will eventually be the formal living room and off of it is the informal family room where eventually we would have the TV when we have more money. The small room off of the formal living room is what I would have for a daytime nursery when Charles and Chantal eventually have children. Now as we go up the grand staircase we are presented with a hallway papered with the identical paper as the entryway. And there are actually four doors off of it, each of which is a bedroom, only one of which is furnished. So immediately to our right is the general show room and a closet will be right here, but I just didn't have the funds for it but it does have an appointed adjoining bathroom. And at the far end of the right side of the hallway is the too much light room, which is Chantal and Charles's bedroom. Right here we have the walk-in closet and over here we have the adjoining bath. In the bath, we've got the You Got Beats tub, a walk-in shower, and a dual sink vanity. To the left of the landing, we have the Blue Bloom Room. Say that five times fast. So the closet would be here, and the 
adjoining bath is here. And the adjacent room at the end of the left side of the hallway is the surprise room. And again, it has a walk-in closet over here and an adjoining bath right there. So this is the exterior before. And the exterior after. The first floor before and the first floor after. The second floor before and the second floor after the basement before and the newly built basement. And now let's see what Charles and Chantal have to say about it. Okay, so we have our couple that they're not married, but at least they're lovey-dovey. Let's go ahead and put it in. They've got 127,367 and it sells for 126,470. So they'll have less than a thousand left over. Okay, move in day. They're loving on each other. We love that for them. And let's check out their wants. She wants to have a baby. Not really interested in marriage, but that's okay. What about you, Charles? What are you thinking? And you'd like to have woohoo. Well, those are complimentary wants, aren't they? Well, I know the two of you really want to toss a football, but let's go ahead and look at that. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, arts and crafts. Way to go, Charles, for discovering that. And you, Chantal Champagne, yeah. why don't you sniff those flowers? That's wonderful. And after a dirty joke, why don't the two of you both use the toilet? Because that'll make you feel so much better with the world. Or go sniff the flowers, Chantal. I love that for you. So the biggest thing I need to experiment is, can you indeed go downstairs? And yes, you can. Despite the weirdness of the build, you can take advantage of it. So Charles did a little bit of gaming and then decided to lounge about because he's basically lazy. But let's go ahead and get a makeout session in. I love that. Kind of letting them do their own thing. Oh, that's great. Why don't you go tinker? and discover how much you like it. That's wonderful for you. Why don't the two of you sit and cuddle? Or because you wanted to kiss her romantically, that works too. Mm. They are a lovey-dovey couple oh, and yeah. I absolutely love that. Why don't both of you sit here? Oh, and so why don't you <laughs> cuddle her? Mm. <laughs> okay, mm. wonderful. How about a makeout session? Mm -hmm. when, why don't you make out? Oh, the welcome wagon is here. I wonder who it is. It is Jeffrey Pleasant, Princess Zagawa Maximus, and Mahuizo Jimmy Maximus. But in the meantime, they're making out and really enjoying themselves. Maybe you should greet the neighbors. Okay, that's your new friend. You go ahead and greet Jeffrey Pleasant, wherever he is. He's just wandering around your gardens. I guess he's gone, not a problem. Just take a sniff. So these are my gardens that are supposed to remind one of Versailles. It's not my best gardens of Versailles that I've ever done, but it is what it is. Well, it's sparsely furnished, but it has everything they need. And as Chantal goes up the ladder of Minister of Education and Charles up party guest, which of course is the least lucrative job, they'll be able to furnish it with treasures from her archaeology. I think Princess Zagawa kind of likes the fact that it has a better floor plan than her own house. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you soon in the pixelated world, and that's all I have to say. VK out.